going through the swamp about how fast do you think we're going? Uh, probably about 15, 20 miles an hour. Yeah, I thought we were going a lot faster than that. About 15, 20 miles an hour. Oh, how, how cool is this? Water ski not in here, but they water ski. I think he's taking me to it right now. It looks like it's opening up. There, he said there's a water ski course over here. Colin, thinking about you right there. like beef. And I was like, why don't they, you know, do like a farm and get those things going and do something on another unusual cuisine. Huge duck hunting areas. As you can see better in the him and his buddy hit one and flipped this entire boat over backwards. He lost his phone, everything else. stranded one night his buddy's boat broke down and they stayed out on an island out here and I said how'd you, how'd you survive the mosquitoes he said we put mud all over our bodies and I said how'd you get off he said my buddy called his dad I said back in the day what would you have done he said we would have been swimming oh wow look at that how cool is that <laughs> Oh, this is something beautiful, I'm telling you right now. Look at that. There's a white heron. This is 
just really peaceful. If you've never done this before, it's there's a difference between an airboat and going and doing this with a local. I mean, this guy knows he's been in the thing. Other thing that's interesting is over by the turtle bar, I said there's an island over there. <clears throat> and he said, yeah, that island used to be the old levee. When, when did they blow the levee? Uh, 1972. 1972. So what happened was some people from downriver used dynamite in 72 and blew that levee and flooded out all the way to Lafayette. How far is Lafayette from here? Uh, from Henderson, probably about 12 miles, 15 miles. 12, 15 miles. So, and it flooded out Lafayette and everything else back in 72 because these people dynamited it. So it's white on white crime. <laughs> and uh, they dynamited it. Um, they could save their town and then they sacrificed somebody else in the process. But, um, I was it's not ever right to do that, but that's what they did. A lot of cool little history. Like I said, you you should hire a local and tour this. You, you it it's it's life changing. It's 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 totally different. You know how can God create the polar bear to exist up there and the penguin to exist in the Antarctic? And then, and then they, and then God created alligators to live down here, and mosquitoes and swamps and all the bugs, and you know, I mean, there's fish galore down here. We just did something. Cypress stump. Cypress stump. He slowed it down on that one. Good thing we weren't going fast on that one. <laughs> it would have been up and up over and <laughs> yeah this is cool look at this now we're going into this remote area are there allig there's alligators in here somewhere too yeah so maybe we'll see maybe we'll see another big alligator somewhere see them bubbles under the water to the right there them bubbles that one? Yeah. So I'm sure you could hear that, but just to let you know, that's the bubbles that are under the water, like a long string of bubbles, is when they walk. And I, I said that in a previous video, but that's when they release that.